Pre-K through second graders at Guilford County Schools could return to the classroom later this week. We'll find out what whether that'll happen during a school board meeting tomorrow night. WFMY News News Grace Holland talked with parents and teachers about the upcoming decision. Guilford County remains in the red category with the highest risk of coronavirus transmission in schools, but the folks I talked to say they need a concrete decision from the board either way. It's just confusing at this point because, you know, the data always changes. Families like Rick Johnson's want to go back to school and there's a lot on the line because he and his wife are looking for jobs. We rely on two incomes. Somebody's got to stay home to take care of the kids. And it's, it's just hard because, you know, if they're in school, she'd be able to go to work. I'd be able to go to work. They almost got the chance last month when Guilford County Schools was set to send pre-K through second graders back to the classroom. But then the district delayed due to the county's health metrics. The district wants to see a positivity rate less than 5% for 14 days. Right now, the county is at 7% and numbers are rising. I didn't sign up to work during a pandemic. I signed up to teach students to the best of my ability, but not when my life was on, on the line. Quashawn Southern is a GCS teacher and a mother who's seen cases among her co-workers. The district is adding three new factors for the school board to consider for re-entry, academic outcomes for students, mental health, and information about how re-entry has gone at schools across the country. The district says it's unclear how the board members will weigh those new factors against county health data. The superintendent's recommendation also asked the board to consider students in the exceptional children's program who she says are having more trouble with remote learning.